With Heroes of New Earth closing in a few weeks, I wanted to reflect on its legacy. As someone who has been playing Dota and following Dota's pro scene for seven years, what better way than to look at some of the legendary Dota players that Han gifted to us? Kicking off the list are the Freeman brothers. Carl and Zachary Freeman were members of Stay Green, who won multiple majors and the first ever Han World Championship. In mid-2014, they switched to Dota, where they were picked up by Complexity Gaming. Unfortunately, their Han success didn't carry with them, as Complexity found middling success over the years. In 2018, Kyle switched from pro play to on-air talent, becoming a staple in the Dota community. Zachary remained in Complexity for years, showing his loyalty and admittedly rare attribute in the Dota scene. However, after failing to qualify for the international in 2019, Complexity dropped its roster. Zachary continues to play tier 1 Dota with four zoomers as Z-Freak. Tal Azik, also known as Fly, was one of the longest running members of Fnatic's Han team, but due to the decline of the Han Pro scene, the team and the org jumped to Dota in 2012. Despite early success, a disappointing TI4 prompted Fly to leave Fnatic and help form Team Secret in 2014. Still unable to find success, Fly hopped from Team Secret to Meepo and then Complexity, but never saw the glory he had in Heroes of New Earth. However, if anyone has followed the Dota scene over the past few years, they'll know that this is not how the story of Fly ends. Fly played a pivotal role in forming OG Esports, which became one of the most dominant and successful teams in Dota, winning four Valve events, including the Frankfurt and the Manila Major. We are there, Jarek, we have a miracle. With the Rangers combined, Secret, they've taken too much damage. OG have got it, they've got the TG out from Secret. Peter Pan Dam, the salty sultan of NA. Peter Dagger, or PPD, began his esports career with trademark esports in Heroes of New Earth, until he was picked up by Complexity in 2012, where the team had a strong presence in the Han scene, coming second in both Dream Han Winter 2012 and Dream Han Summer 2013. Like many Han pros before, PPD switched to Dota at the end of 2013, where he played in Sad Boys with some other soon-to-be Dota legends. Taking the responsibility of captain and drafter, Sad Boys went on a 19-game win streak, including winning the Electronic Sports Prime Shock Therapy Cup. They were picked up by Evil Geniuses soon after with many in the scene praising PPD's drafting as the key to the team's success. PPD found victory with the new organization immediately, winning EG's land debut at the Monster Energy Invitational, making EG one of the favorites leading to TI4. Sadly, it will not be their turn to hold the Aegis, the coveted TI trophy, getting knocked out in third place by Vici Gaming. The last game in the series led PPD to tap out within 16 minutes, leaving many to question PPD's drafting. Backing up in this EG base, and it's GG! They got too greedy, and Vici punished it again! PPD would silence those questions when after a slight roster shuffle, he led EG to TI victory in 2015, not only becoming the only North American team to hoist the ages, but being part of some of the most legendary moments in the tournament's history. The last on the list will go down as one of the best, if not the best, Dota player of all time, Johan Notel Sunstein. Notel began his esports career with Fly as part of Fnatic's Han roster, a roster that won DreamHack Winter 2011 and four consecutive DreamHack events after. Unfortunately, that resilience alone could not save the fledgling Han pro scene, and Notel joined the rest of Fnatic in making the swap to Dota. Along with Fly, he left Fnatic after disappointing results and formed Team Secret, until he and Tal founded OG Esports. Notel played a critical role in OG winning their four Valve sponsored events, and it seemed that nothing could stop OG. At least, nothing except the international. Something kept them from victory during Notel's initial attempts at the ages as OG, continuously entering the tournament as one of the favorites, yet losing in an upset against MVP Phoenix, then another loss the following year against TNC. They're attacking the team for towers, already the jump forward, crit, he needs help now, that wall, will it be enough, Cuckoo still there, and the Kroger is very caught too! Cuckoo right next to it! Notel's gonna go down! Despite winning the majority of majors, the international proved to be Notel's kryptonite. Unfortunately, the continuous defeat at Dota's most prestigious tournament proved too much for some members of OG. And weeks before TI8, OG lost half its roster, leaving Notel to not only scramble for a team weeks before the event, but take over as captain. For the first time in many years, OG was not the favorite at TI in 2018. Let's focus on OG a little bit. I hate to say this, I had OG losing in the lower bracket <laughs> straight away. <laughs> they had their roster ripped apart by evil geniuses. You have Notel who swapped roles and became captain. And maybe that was the motivation Notel needed. Or perhaps it was facing his former teammates in the semi-finals. Whatever the reason, in the upside down backward world that is the international, that was the year OG and Notel took home the ages. Notel captained his new team through a tournament that has continuously bested him to a decisive victory. <laughs> And 
to ensure his legacy as one of the best Dota players of all time, Notel took that team to a second and somehow more definitive TI victory, beating the finalists 3-1, making Notel and his teammates not only one of the highest earning pros in all of esports, but the only players to have held the ages twice. OG, you throw your sword on against you, you throw your sword on against you, there it is, gold, OG, I am two, two. This was a very short list of some of who I felt were the most notable, but left out many other Hon legends that swapped, not just to professional Dota, but also Dota content creation and community members. So let me know in the comments who your favorite Hon player that now spends their time waiting for the next TI is. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.